I'm Matthew R. Miller, the horror writer. I watched a film tonight called Chad Gets the Axe. Actually, it's hashtag Chad Gets the Axe. It's found footage. It was not very good, uh -huh, frankly. But I thought about found footage genre. Found footage is where you have a film that's supposed to be real footage, right? Sometimes it's a video that was found, left somewhere. Sometimes it's live action. But it's supposed to be real, not a movie. Of course, it is a movie. Uh, and so it works well with horror if you can get people to kind of convince them it's real, even though now people know it's not real. You can get that willing suspension of disbelief in the audience, so for a time they can almost their mind pretends it's real and they can get some thrills out of it. Uh, found footage, it, it's, there's no official first one ever made because there's some short films in the 60s, I think, that were kind of this style, but the first uh, kind of big one was Cannibal Holocaust, which was in the 70s or early 80s. It's, wow, it's, it's a rough one. I mean, it's great. It's a classic, but it's really brutal. Uh, the Blair Witch Project, you probably remember that one. It was the first found footage that really reached the masses in cinemas. Did super well. Uh, and, uh, it, you know, the reason it went big is because it was still an unknown genre, and people wondered, is this real? You know, is it real? And then finally, uh, there's another one called Guinea Pig, Fountains of Blood. It's part of a series. It was so realistic, apparently. I've, I've seen it, and it was realistic for its time, that Charlie Sheen watched it and contacted the FBI because he thought it was real. And by the way, the Cannibal Holocaust producers had to go to trial to prove that they didn't actually murder the people in the film. All right, so my favorite found footages have to be probably some of the classics. I love the entire VHS series. I think it's fantastic. I love the Hell House LLC series. I think it's fantastic, three of those. Then One Cut of the Dead is a Japanese kind of found footage horror comedy that is fantastic. If you can, if you can see it, find it, watch it. One Cut of the Dead, Japanese film. It's absolutely great. And, and it's just, I can't, I'm not going to spoil it because it's just so good. Okay, so what makes good found footage? Because there is a lot of bad found footage out there. I mean a lot. Everyone thinks they can make a found footage horror movie. Most cannot. So first, the characters need to be real and believable. That means it has to be really good acting. Or you need to put the characters in a situation like Blair Witch where they really don't know what's going on and they have natural reactions to it. Uh, second, you need to have a really creative story or backstory, okay? Like uh, VHS, wow, or, or even Hell House LLC, a really good backstory. Three, you need to have really good realistic effects, okay? Special effects, no CGI, they got to be real effects, practical effects, and they have to be super good because nothing takes an audience out of a film or a book, I guess a film in this case, more than seeing like a, an obviously rubber hand flop on the ground, you know, it's okay, well, this is so fake. Um, you need to have lots of action. Now, they can have parts of slow pace where you're building the world, building the characters, but you do need to have enough action or else it's super boring. So many of the bad ones are just people walking around with cameras and nothing happens. And then you need to have some subtlety to it. Watch Hell, Hell, Hell House LLC. Parts of that are subtle, but they're really scary, actually. Uh, also, I, th I think about another classic was the Paranormal Activity series, by the way. I think that one's good because you feel like you're kind of a voyeur watching these people uh, sleeping and live their lives while stuff happens kind of in the background. So, yeah, found footage can be really good, but it has to have those elements, okay? And uh, the equivalent of found footage in writing would be first-person point of view. I as the main character, all right? What do you think? You like found footage? What are some of your favorites, and what are some of the worst Boy, there's some bad ones out there. I'm Matthew R. Miller, the horror writer. Uh, check out my work, and thanks for watching.